Welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here, and I have some great news. So I'm almost done with the sketchbook, finally, and there will be a sketchbook door coming out soon, but there are still some more pages I want to add more detail to, so as I do that, I want to take you guys along with me and give you guys not just one or two or three, but 101 ideas to help you fill your own sketchbook, so let's get straight into this. But just before that, I do want to let you guys know that I kind of have a cold at the time of recording this voiceover, and I am recovering from it, but if my voice sounds a little stuffy or weird, that's probably why, but just let's try and deal with it. Anyway, so how this video is going to work is I'm pretty much going to be giving you guys 101 ideas to help you fill your own sketchbook while I kind of finish my sketchbook as well. So these pages are just random pages in my sketchbook that I haven't like either called in or that I want to add more detail to. So I'm just going to be working on them and yeah, let's get straight into the ideas. So the first idea is to draw yourself as a cartoon character or draw yourself in your own art style. The second idea is to create a fan art page. I love doing this, especially when I'm in an art block or when I'm really high up about a series or a movie. The third idea is to create an OCs page. So OCs are basically original characters and you can even design some of your original characters and give them a background story, a plot line. Trust me, it is lots of fun to do. And who knows, you might end up loving your original characters so much that you fill your entire sketchbook with them. But if you don't have any original characters, that's also completely okay because idea number four is to design some new original characters. Number five is combine three animals to create something new. You could also try doing the three marker challenge, the three emoji challenge, the one color challenge, the 10 art styles challenge, which is one of my favorite challenges. And of course there is the left hand versus right hand challenge, which I love and hate at the same time. It's kind of like a love and hate relationship because it's always so messy for me, but I always love how it turns out at the same time. <laughs> and idea number 11 is to turn scribbles into art. Number 12 is another one of my favorite ideas and that is to draw from real life. Or you could also redraw your own art. Number 14 is to turn anything into characters. This could be foods, objects, seasons, or pretty much anything you want to do. And this one, firstly, is just lots of fun. And secondly, it just kind of pushes your creativity to a whole new limit, and it's a really enjoyable process. All right, and number 15 is one that I love doing so much back in the days when I was obsessed with watercolors and calligraphy. So this idea is pretty much to add watercolors to a page and add a quote on top. Personally, I recommend using the wet on wet technique and using three colors that are close together on the color wheel just to get that really cool effect and then when you add the quote just make it look as fancy as you can and trust me in the end that'll make your sketchbook look so much more aesthetic moving on this idea is really fun and therapeutic and that is to fill your page with scribbles it also turns out looking pretty cool as well idea number 17 is one that'll push your creativity yet again and that is to turn your pet into a human or if you don't have a pet just find a pet image on google or pinterest or you could try to turn yourself into an animal and see how that turns out idea number 19 is to draw scenes from a movie or you could draw yourself into your favorite scene in a movie. Or you could even draw your favorite celebrity and even create a mini comic. Either way, try and pick a movie or show that you really like so you can enjoy the process even more. And the next idea is to try the draw 100 things challenge. This could be drawing 100 eyes, drawing 100 heads, drawing 100 animals, pretty much anything you want. It's a really fun challenge and it's definitely worth it. Some more ideas are to use a different medium, swatch your art supplies, draw a fun memory, turn a song into a drawing depending on how you feel when you listen to that song or any memories you associate with it. You could also try and draw a selfie by using any selfies you've taken as reference and kind of trying to stylize it and turn it into a drawing. Number 29 is one that I love and it is to try doing the use all your color art supplies challenge. This could be using all your purple art supplies, your red art supplies, your pink art supplies or pretty much any color you want. You could also try doing a draw this new art style challenge or if you want something a bit more simplistic then paint some random blobs and doodle on top of them. Try and create some characters out of them or you could even turn cloud shapes into different things as well all right and idea number 33 is to color inversely now this one's a bit more complicated but it will turn out looking really cool in the end so what this pretty much means is make a drawing as you normally would but when you do the coloring wherever you would color orange color blue there instead or wherever you would use purple, you use yellow instead. And in the end, you'll end up with something looking so cool. Idea number 34 is to use your sketchbook like a sketchbook and plan some trading cards. The next idea is kind of similar and is to make some thumbnails
thumbnail sketches before you make a final illustration. That way, when you look back at the final illustration, you'll be able to see your process and how you designed something so amazing, and you'll just get back those sweet memories again. Some more ideas is to collage or scrapbook in your sketchbook. You could also just add in some stickers and make cheapy drawings because cheapy drawings are amazing. Or if you want something a bit more complex and something more like a long-term project, you could try making a realistic drawing and try realism. And idea number 40 is one that I know all the artists out there will love because even though you're trying to hide it, I know that all you guys love drawing eyes, especially when you're bored or in class or at work. So idea number 40 is to fill an entire page with just random doodles of eyes. It's fun, it's therapeutic, it's carefree, and there's no reason why you shouldn't do it. You can also try and do some mindless doodling because it's really fun. Or you can study something like hands or animals or anatomy or something like that. You could also swatch different color palettes because this way when you go into a different illustration, you'll just have different color palettes in front of you so you can just choose easily. You can also cut out and stick in old pieces of artwork in your current sketchbook and you can try Mandela art because it's fun or if you want something even more easy, you can try doing spirographs. And idea number 47 is one that I personally want to practice as well and that is to practice drawing architecture and different buildings. You can also practice drawing different poses and stylizing them or you could practice a key skill which is drawing with perspective. And another thing you could practice, and this one is a fun one, it is to practice using lighting and shadows in your drawings. All these practice ideas are really good to help you build your skills and memory and just your understanding of art in general. Moving on, the next idea is to use art supplies that you haven't used in ages because I'm pretty sure that you have at least one art supply just lying around that you've been procrastinating to use. That would probably be charcoal pencils in my case. You can also try using art supplies you hate or you can try challenges like Mermaid, Inktober or Huevember. Some more ideas you could try to use to fill your sketchbook is to design your own logo, make a wish list of all the things you want to accomplish or all the things you want to buy. This could include art supplies artists. Or you could also draw your favorite thing, which in my case that would definitely be drawing dogs. Or you could even draw yourself in your dream life. Another chill one is to just paint silhouettes. Or you could also draw on sticky notes and stick them in your sketchbook just to add some more texture and a really cool effect for when you're flipping through your sketchbook afterwards. You could also try using school supplies to make something like highlighters and um, kids coloring pencils. And you can design your own pattern or print to put on fabric or some kind of product. Another cool one is to draw your dream outfit or you could also write down goals and annotate and brainstorm or plan for future drawings. You could also create a mini gallery by making partitions on your page and drawing mini squares and then painting little masterpieces inside of each of them. And I like this idea. This one is to sketch with a ballpoint pen. This is really good, especially if you're someone who tends to erase your pencil sketches a lot because this way you can't really erase it. That'll just help you to fill your skills and make each pencil, not stroke, but line, I guess, more intentional. You can also try sketching with colored pencils or you can try sketching with paint. Another cool exercise is to draw vehicles and different types of transport. And you could even try turning your aesthetic into a person. Oh no, we have a lot of ideas to get through, but I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna have to start pumping them through. All right, so number 73 is to try contour drawing. Oh, this pretty much means just drawing without lifting your pen or pencil off the paper. Some therapeutic painting ideas is to paint the ocean, paint the sunset or sunrise, and paint the clouds. You could also doodle some leaves or you can use watercolors and doodle some flowers on top. Or depending on how creative you feel that day, you can even paint your own treasure map or you can spill some coffee or stained water and turn it into something creative as well. Or if you want to draw something really, really cute, then you can try drawing really cute animals in cupcakes or mugs. You can even try combining three mediums to create a mixed media illustration, or you could draw an illusion, make a 3D drawing, or even draw yourself as a superhero. You could also try painting something twice, once in black and white and once in color so you can study the value and how color works. Or if you're an artist who likes making digital drawings, then you can print out your digital art and stick it into your sketchbook. Or you could even try turning your digital art into traditional drawings as well. Another idea to push your creativity is to try and recreate a classical painting, but in your style and even make it modern if you're up to it. Or you could draw a stylized peacock feather because that always turns out really good. Or even draw a leaf with a drop of water on top because trust me, that's just lots of fun. And the final thing will end up looking so cool. All right, so final countdown now. Idea number 92 is to try fashion designing, or you could even draw a face in different angles. This is just good again to help you develop your skills and just see how your style looks like from different angles and just develop your confidence as well. Another good way to develop your confidence with lighting this time is to draw the same object or person under different lighting conditions. Idea number 95 is to draw your favorite person in the whole entire world, or you could draw a floral wreath and try calligraphy inside. Trust me, that's gonna look so aesthetic. 
Also, you can paint using only the primary colors. It's a good challenge to help you figure out a way to blend colors and understand more about the color theory and how colors work. Adding on to learning about color theory, you can try to draw a portrait using only highlighters that will help you to push outside the limits. Or you could even draw your favorite dream. All right, and we're almost there. So idea number 100 is to draw something in a crystal bowl or a potion bottle, make it look all magical and everything. And finally, idea number 101 is to draw a dot. Yes, you heard me. Fill your sketchbook page by drawing one dot. And that's enough. I feel like artists are put under this constant pressure to make a masterpiece every single time. But trust me, from me to you, you really don't have to. Even one dot is enough to express your creativity. Anyways, I hope these ideas helped you out and will help you fill your sketchbook. Also, like I said before, I will be coming out with a sketchbook tour next week, hopefully, if everything goes as planned. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Also, here is my final drawing for a this in your art style contest that I made. I'm not really happy with how it turned out, but I also don't hate it at the same time. But yeah. Also, if you're wondering why I haven't shown you guys a finished version of the drawings I was working on in this video, that's pretty much because even though I love you guys, I'm going to be showing you guys them next week in the sketchbook door so don't forget to stay tuned and make sure that notification bell is turned on anyways have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys next time bye